Uh, welcome to this video about the MC Start software, where we take a look at the field layout workflows using Autodesk Revit. My name is Rande Vreumer, software developer at Mouse Software. Okay, in this video we will cover the following topics. First, we start with the settings, specifying a start number and symbol size. Then we will take a look how to manually insert points on work plane uh, or on level. We will see how to set up control, how to apply a corner system, a project internal, shared corner system, and how to use the survey point in Revit. Then, when we have set up control, we will take a closer look how to input points from a robotic total station and how to export a background file and points to a robotic total station as well. All right, let's get started. Uh, before we begin in Autodesk Revit, let us take a brief look at the general settings uh, of the MC Start software, which you can find in the uh, Quick Access Toolbar. Here you can specify a language uh, for the software, as well as uh, specifying a project location for your new projects. It's a good idea to uh, specify a project location, so you don't have to navigate to your project folder uh, each time you s uh, save a file. On the Units tab, you can specify the coordinate order and the MC start units. The MC start software will convert the corner data as well as the background file from the Revit project units to these MC start units. So be sure to, um, to set it correctly here. Then on the CAD BIM program tab, you can select your uh, Revit version. And in this video, we will use the Revit 2015 version. So we press OK, and now that we have specified these settings, we can uh, choose uh, Prepare Points in CAD Revit to start the Revit software. OK, now that Revit is started, you can find the MC Start plugin uh, in the ribbon. Uh, I just opened the basic sample project file, uh, which you can find um, in the Sample Files folder of uh, Revit 2015 and there you will find the basic sample project file which I will use in this video. Uh, to start adding points to the project uh, first let us check the uh, snap functions and be sure to uh, only select um, the snap functions uh, that you need uh, and then you can uh, choose settings to specifying a start number and a symbol size uh, for the points for now, let's choose one for start number and press OK to apply these settings. To manually insert points to the project, we have the insert points uh, option. And you can insert on work plane or face or insert on level. For now, let's choose insert on work plane uh, or face and choose insert points. We zoom in uh, to this wall, for instance. And uh, let's add uh, some points to this face. And to exit the command, you have to press twice the escape button. You can also insert points on level. Uh, to do so, select a plan view from the project browser. And then we can uh, zoom in again to these walls and you see the points we just added. To add some more wall points uh, on level, uh, we choose insert points and we snap to this wall and now we insert points on this particular level. Uh, you can also display the point annotations by using the tag points button. So click on that to see the, um, the point numbers as well. Now that we have added some points, let's set up control and apply a corner system for this project. And there's a project base point and a survey point in Revit. And initially, these points are at the internal startup point, 00. zero. You can display these points by the Reveal Hidden Elements button. The project base point is a reference mark for any file and isn't shared between files. It's just used as a reference for spot annotations that will be useful to the builder. When you look at the uh, survey point, 
uh, there's only one real-world survey point for a project. So also for projects with multiple linked Revit files. When you have linked Revit files in a project and the corners are published, the survey point will be updated and saved for each linked Revit file. To position the project to the real-world survey point in the field, we're going to use the survey point in Revit. Now, in this example, um, we use the intersection of the grid lines here, which is also used by the survey in the field. And we're going to use this as an, our new starting point 00. zero. Uh, now let us display and move the survey point to this intersection of the grid lines. So we go to uh, View, Visibility and Graphics. We scroll down to Site and we check the survey point. You see that the triangle here is the survey point, so we select it. We keep it clipped, not unclipped, and we move it to the intersection of the grid lines. And now um, uh, this will be the new starting point uh, to lay out the project. Now that we have set up control, we can import files from the field into the project. Let's import a file from the surveyor uh, by going to the MC Start software. So here we are in the MC Start software, and I just opened the uh, file of the surveyor. Now we choose Export to CAD Revit, and now the points will be exported to Revit and will be ready to import. So we go back to Revit, and we choose Yes to import these points. Now we can tag these points, and we choose both, and now you can see that we see the reference points of the building and the control points of the surveyor that is using to lay out the project. To export the points to a robotic total station or GPS receiver, you have the options export points or export background file and points. When you choose export background file and points, the current view will also be exported and scaled to the MC Start units. So when you have selected a 3D view from the project browser, a 3D DWG or DXF file will be exported. And when you have selected a plan view from the project browser, a 2D DWG DXF file will be exported. For now, let's export the entry level and the points to the MC Start software by choosing Export Background File and Points. The background file will be created and the points will be loaded in the MC Start software as we have created in Revit. To export the points and the background file to a device, you can choose Export to Device. And we're going to key in a new file name, Entry Level. And we're going to include the background file. And then we choose Explore Project Folder. Uh, the files will be put on the clipboard. We can create a new folder, Entry Level. And we're going to paste in these files. And as you can see, we have one background file in DXF format and one points file, which we can load uh, into the robotic total station. Okay, thank you for watching this video about field layout workflows using Autodesk Revit. I hope it has given you a good overview. Uh, you can download a free 30 days trial from our website. It's not limited in any way from the full version, so be sure to download a copy. Uh, if you have questions, please uh, feel uh, free to contact us at uh, support at mousesoftware.com. And uh, again, thank you for watching.